Okay, you got um, 10 minutes. You're on. Awesome. Thank you. I'll try to share the screen uh, from the another account because like on that I don't have. Um, I hope you can see it. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, I, I, I assume you can see. Yes, you can see the screen. So, um, yes, uh, my adventure force actually started back like four years ago, and uh, I just recently understood for them. By just recently, I mean like around uh, like three months or something like that. Like, and uh, this like this iteration of Ford, I, I've done like 10, 20 Fords by now. Like uh, this is like a month old. And um, yeah, this is like, this is a uh, actually like Ford defined by like uh, inspired by color Ford. And uh, I first saw it from Timothy Lottis and like I really liked it and I uh, implemented it and I thought like uh, I'm, I'm very happy with it. And um, I can like maybe showcase something interesting about the editor. Like uh, I care a lot about like uh, programmer comfort. So I, I sort of um, did like an editor from scratch in C and Vulkan and like uh, and like in three like screens, uh, like th there's like this uh, X64 assembler and um, yeah, the, this this test on the right side that you see it's it's like um, generating assembly from uh, defined within this language basically. So like um, basically some like um, oops. oh yeah, I mean I, I can maybe showcase the editor. I guess the editor is the most interesting part. <laughs> So it, it has like uh, undo and redo and um, it can also, yeah, can also like uh, traverse words um, and it doesn't matter if they're like, um, you can hear me, right? I assume. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, we can hear you. Yes. Great. So. Um, I don't know if this is new, maybe uh, so, someone can tell me, but like the way I do this lookup is not by search, but instead when I'm compiling, I have another four bytes uh, per character for a block um, that gives the source location for the currently compiled word. And like uh, like that, it's you can just search right uh, inside this block for uh, the next, <laughs> iteration, uh, I mean, the next occurrence of, of that value, and then like it, it finds the word perfectly, which uh, I thought would be only possible with uh, like binary encoded words, you know, with specific like IDs for words. Um, but yeah, I, I found that with this simple extension, uh, like four bytes per character, uh, it's, it actually allows to look up that and also go to the definition like uh, instantly. Uh, without uh, like making like a, having to search about it, and like um, another thing I found like uh, interesting was that um, like I added a word <laughs> called this, and now it gives me all the occur all the calling. Um, so it traces the word basically, so you can look up all uh, execution of this word in order of execution that it happens. So it's okay, first it executes here and then here and then like goes on like this. So it sort of gives like a um, intuition about like what happens in the program without having to execute it or like do like uh, print tests or whatever. Like, um, you know, this, I mean, this, this might seem maybe, uh, yeah, it's, it's too fast, right? Uh, but uh, I hope people get the idea. <laughs> like, um, so actually another interesting thing is like with Ford, I found like, because it's so free, it's, uh, we can even go one level up, right? What is this word getting, like, where is this word getting called in order? And where is that, like, where is the word that is getting called from is <laughs> like, uh, is called right so it gives like oh we're compiling like three times in this like uh we're executing that word three times over here 
one time over here and so on, like um, basically like a compile time uh, idea of like what, what gets executed um, without having to do the printout. Like, um, oh yeah, I'm really <laughs> underprepared for this. I, I use this for to uh, like, to do games and graphics, uh, at least that's what I will <laughs> use it for. Um, right now I'm compiling Spur V and um, like I got some of this stuff. Maybe X64 will be much more interesting. Like the syntax for the X64 looks like this actually. Um, so there's this like direction register. I'm just gonna turn off the examples and I'm gonna turn off, uh, oops. Turn off spare ring also. So, yeah. All right. So, um, yeah, basically, like with, with this assembler, you can just change the direction and, like, um, uh, it's, it's, it was, it, it reads as uh, from AX to BX register, let's move uh, and unsigned, which I define as 32 bits. You could change this to long, which makes it like RBX to, uh, oh, wait, what? Okay, this is, this is somehow broken. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's broken. Yes, 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 of course not, of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's exactly. Yeah. I mean, you, you could instead like uh, reading, I mean, writing from uh, racks to uh, register, register RBX, you could uh, write to memory RB, uh, RBX or uh, maybe like have like an offset here. Um, or you could even do like SIB bytes, like, uh, like SIB4, SIB1, SIB2, uh, SIB8. Uh, also, or sieve with offset, so um, all of that works. And again, like with this, um, like direction, uh, like so, yeah. Basically, um, you can have variables like. Uh, oof, sorry, do we have questions or comments? <laughs> Tomatoes, <laughs> I don't know. So. Um, yeah, or we could do like an add you, like uh, unsigned add, like long add or byte add without having to change like um, the, the registers as we usually do in assembly. So I, yeah, I, um, and what else? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, there's also jumps and uh, whatnot, like, um, over here, uh, that looks like this, like labels. Um, I mean, this is the X64 assembler. Um, and then uh, I also use this to compile, like, uh, where is it? Oh, sorry. Okay. Compile Spur V, which is the um, intermediate representation for um, shaders in Walken. And like, um, Actually, I, I was expecting X64 to be a lot, like, um, a lot more complicated, but Spermy turned out to be actually uh, a bit more complicated because um, I'm also doing things like having, like, type checked um, variables and whatnot in this language. It's, it's still working you, progress. Can you, so. com can you complete that sentence? Uh, it's not complicated because, it's less complicated because Oh, X64 uh, is less complicated because, like, um, X64 is a machine language, right? Uh, machine languages are, in my opinion, <laughs> easier to compile than, like, standards, which, like, I can't, there has to be, like, you know, a specific order to these, like, um, like definitions inside the standard, right? Like the capability has, the capability ops have to come first and then the type of operations and then uh, the uh, function definitions and whatnot. So instead of just compiling, right, I had to introduce the concept of like, um, okay, where is that? Sections. Yeah, there it is. Uh, the concept of sections uh, to compile into like a binary with uh, multiple sections and then I had to assemble that. 
versus an, on x64 it's it was like um yeah a lot less complicated when like um i mean yeah apart from a few things um like can you say it in words with like without showing us so, just your general <laughs> impression uh in general impression regarding what sorry regarding this less complex to use x i'm gonna have to ask you to to wrap it up in the next minute or two and yes. uh perhaps back next month and give us a more uh expanded uh yeah. version of this but thank you i appreciate yeah, your, thank you. your willingness to present uh, yes. I want to encourage you to, to uh, work something up uh, in a more orderly, organized presentation. Yes, 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 yes. This is month. like completely like grateful. improvised right now, and I'm not doing like, this, a good job of it. I hope like looks like this looks like stuff folks would be interested in. And uh, yes. thank you. Thank uh, you. So, you, you want to take another minute, or are you you done? Um, I. I, like, thanks for listening to this, like, very, uh, you know. Well, okay, like, unshare your screen, <laughs> and we'll move on. Yes. Oh, maybe I, one thing, one last thing I could showcase is, like, I just added, like, Well, on minutes, us. So. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Masa. Hi. Who are you? Where are you from? Where are you? And uh, say something about fourth. Okay. Well, uh, I I'm actually joining the meeting from Sunnyvale, and um, I'm porting things uh, C for uh, version two point three to. Uh, LPC 2148 uh, board. So uh, once I'm success successful, I'm gonna probably present that the, uh, my experience. That's it. That sounds good. So uh, I noticed that somebody I did not uh, poll for the introductions is this guy uh, Moore. And uh, I was thinking I would run a YouTube video of the uh, fireside. So you're just going to have to uh, imagine a YouTube video of a fireside running for 30 seconds uh, while I blather. Uh, uh, I feel that if I try to do that, it'll it'll uh, it'll cause me it'll kick me off the air again. So uh, Chuck Moore needs to unmute and deliver his fireside chat at this time.